Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario. It's been a while since I've done any type of video like this, really covering any type of, I guess, new modding hardware or uh, any big modding news. However, uh, this is pretty big, and as you all know, I used to do a decent amount of Xbox 360 stuff. It's not that I'm out of the 360 scene, it's just there's really nothing going on anymore. There's really no big development, so that's why I'm really not covering anything. However, uh, this is some of the last stuff that seems like is coming out this uh, console generation, I guess you can say. So, I want to cover it. Now, first off, I, I want to cover something a bit big that might, you know, hurt the consumers. Anyone looking to get a new system and they want to mod it, anything like that. There's actually a new Xbox 360 motherboard out. Uh, I had just seen this last night, and I was kind of browsing it a little bit, uh, but I decided to do a video over it. So, the new motherboard is called the Winchester motherboard, and this person on Team Executor, I'll put all the links down below in the description, has some very detailed pictures uh, over what is going on with it. Now, let's see. New Corona motherboard Xbox 360 is available in the markets. They have new CGPU without IHS, so pretty much, you know, the APU on there. They have SK Hynix or ST NAND, Samsung, and, you know, the number there, memory. So, uh, the memory is different on there. They're talking about the RAM on there. And then the uh, CGPU type is, they explain what it is. And then the NAND is readable and writable. After writing ECC, I get 0010 secondary error. The post out fix adapter did not fit. That's just a little adapter that goes around the CPU GPU. Uh, these are new 500 gigabyte consoles. Manufacturing date is 2014, August 14th. Lot number and date is 1436X. So, as you can see, we are near the end of September right now. So, uh, starting in August, like, they started making these new motherboards. Or it might have even been before that. Uh, but anyways, right now, just the ECC, when you're pretty much flashing over one of the most basic things, it red rings on you. So, uh, at first, they were saying this is a new Corona motherboard. Because it was actually, there's several Coronas out there. There's, a, there's like, what, six versions of the Corona and one of them, there was actually kind of a precursor to this motherboard that came out recently. There was a V6 Chrono, or a series of V6 Chronos that came out that had a different type of RAM in them. And because of that, it actually prevented you from reset glitching or doing any type of hard mod to the console itself successfully. I don't even think you could boot up Zell on there. Uh, so what happened? Team Executor took in a bunch of the consoles, messed with them. Uh, now they are fully exploitable, but now there's a whole new motherboard out, so that was a neat little precursor to it. Uh, but there's even some detailed pictures here, so... Oh, went way too far on that. Anyways, so first off, here's uh, the main NAND points and all that from what I see here. Also, if you... Why is my mouse just messing up with me? <laughs> it, uh, it decides to mess up, you know, once I'm in front of people and show, you know, everyone. Uh, but no, as you can see, uh, NAND points are here and all that. Also, for anybody who is asking about, you know, the picture pop-up here from my browser, I use Imagus. So, uh, I just use that, you know, for Reddit and things like that. So, that's why the image kind of pops out double on here. Uh, and I'll just kind of scroll through these. But you have the, uh, well, I guess the Southbridge chip there. Just uh, showing more of the NAND points. Um, really nothing too big that you really need to know here. Uh, because I sh I'm sure most people really don't care. They just want to, you know, get the system up and running. Here is the SK Hynix. Uh, this would be the, no, this is the system NAND. That's it. So, that'd be the NAND that the gentleman was talking about here. Uh, and then... Anything they're showing right there, of course, that's where you'd put anything, you know, on the bottom of the motherboard, I believe. Uh, the CPU, GPU, because they're all integrated in one on the uh, new console. And right here, uh, in case you don't know with the Slim, here is the post-fix adapter. And as you can see, it says Corona, well, it's upside down, but it says Corona post-fix adapter. And uh, that thing does not fit at all. So, uh, yeah, definitely a new motherboard out in the wild. That's why they said we're calling this one the Winchester, but... Uh, you know, to this day, I'll be honest, a uh, little tidbit, I really don't know how they name these motherboards. It, it'd be interesting to see, but uh, then even here's a little bit of the NAND dump and all. So he was able to successfully dump the NAND, because you can still dump the NAND anyways. Uh, but then people were talking about this and all that. Then they had, uh, you know, the post out here. Uh, oh, possible post out at least. So they had, you know, some pictures describing what might possibly be, you know, a good post out, obviously. So, uh, it's the 500 gigabyte uh, FIFA 15 pack. So, if you're getting a 500 gigabyte Xbox 360 Slim, more than likely it's going to be one of these new Winchester motherboards. So, uh, good news on that is that now you can come over here. I'll have the links down in the description. As I said, there is now a 500 gigabyte hard drive SS.bin file that they were able to extract from the 500 gig hard drives. So, there's actually been kind of a hacked up homebrewed. 
uh, 500 gig drive ss.bin file available but this is an official one for microsoft now so if you have a 500 gigabyte hard drive you want to slap into your xbox 360 you can just download this official ss.bin file uh, flash it over to your hard drive uh, i actually have a tutorial with it uh, on the channel and you can have a you know perfectly stealthed and working 500 gig hard drive uh, personally i have 320s 250s or 320s in all of my systems so yeah that's the good news about it Bad news, though, is that since this is a new motherboard, especially with the CR4 so close to release, uh, this thing... I'm not part of Team Executor, so I don't want to say they're not going to do anything with it, and I feel like they are going to work on something, and actually, they even confirmed down here. Uh, let me see. I'll try and look for Executor's post. Here we go. I wonder if Team X is going to work on this. Based upon the post by Executor today, I was under the impression that the CR4 is finished and has finally gone into production, and Executor just says, of course we are, with a smiley face. So, that means they are going to be working on this. However, it's going to take a decent amount of time, so really... What I can recommend, if you are in the market for a slim Xbox, uh, find a Corona or just get something used. Find a Corona, better yet, even find a Trinity, and you should be good. Because the Corona, there's so many versions out there, and so many little intricacies here and there that you have to deal with. Uh, the Trinity, it's, it's pretty cut and dry when it comes to slim systems. So if you can find a system, you know, from a few years ago, that'd be awesome. Uh, now, one thing I just actually want to talk about, you know, motherboards and all, because people ask me, what type of motherboard would you recommend? Honestly... I guess call me old-fashioned. When it comes to fats, though, I still recommend the Jasper motherboards. In fact, that's probably my favorite motherboard out of all the 360s. Uh, I was actually talking with uh, one of my friends on here, Modified360, in case you all do or do not know him. Uh, but we had talked a while ago, and uh, we've talked about this topic a few times, and we both swear that the uh, out of all the motherboards out there, the Jasper, like the fat Jasper, no matter what it is, a small block or a big block, those have to be the most hardy and the, the most reliable motherboards we've seen out of the Xbox 360. Uh, like, to the point, I have seen Slims fail, get the red dot of death. I have never once seen or heard of. I mean, it might be out there, but it might be. I just, I really haven't looked it up, but it's, it's extremely rare. And I myself have just, I've never seen anybody talk about a red light issue or a general hardware failure with a Jasper motherboard. Uh, the closest I've ever heard was, let's see, disk drive issues. So I've heard of disk drive issues before with Jaspers. And let me see, with my own Jasper, actually, I will admit I have gotten the red light, quote-unquote, red light issue twice. Uh, but I know what the reason was. It was power issues. The first time, the power flicked, flickered in my apartment, and I got the red light issue. So I turned the Xbox off, turned it back on. It was good to go. Uh, two or three weeks later, probably because I probably should have, you know, unplugged the power supply completely... Uh, at one point, it gave me the red light issue when I booted it up. I looked at the power supply, power supply light was red, I unplugged it, plugged it back in, never had an issue since then. So, that's what I say, like, I've never seen failures with the Jasper motherboards, and those are the ones I recommend, uh, in terms of reliability and modability. Because, uh, hard drive, well, the, yeah, the hard drives are easier to mess around with, um, the system software, uh, you know, when it comes to hard modding, anything like that, even soft modding it if you're talking about flashing the system, uh, all that's much easier to do with a FAT system, so that's why I recommend the Jaspers. However, when it comes to a Slim, I would recommend a Trinity over Corona any day, so if you can find an old Trinity, that'd be awesome, just cleaned up and you should be good to go. Now, speaking of all of that, I just want to touch up on this a little bit uh, because there's been a lot of news floating around about it, so I really didn't want to cover it. However, I'll just touch up on it briefly. Uh, the new CR4 or CR4 XL is now going to be coming out. Apparently, the expected delivery date is October 13th, and I also have this on Modchip Center right now, which I don't think they have updated this completely on here. Uh, however, in case you don't know, it's supposed to be the end-all, be-all new glitch chip. It's supposed to work with every single... Uh, motherboard out there they're advertising a 95 percent success rate with insta booting on any box so it's definitely going to be a powerful little thing and it's going to be a great chip from what i see it's they're estimating 30 dollars here other places even x consoles they're trying to sell it for 40 bucks so we'll see what's up with that but even talking about this uh completely redesigned method of glitching twice as fast as faster well, no, twice as fast as the fastest glitchers available yes including slim proto incredibly stable we glitched the worst boxes we could find in less than three cycles even with the slim proto or cr3 pro they wouldn't boot at all 
95% of boxes in Staboot. Less wires, small form factor, currently testing Falcon, Jasper, Trinity, and Corona V1 and V6. Now, this is the thing that person was talking about before. Uh, this is our last 360 product. Many months have gone into perfecting this new method. You bet your ass we, uh, oh, you bet your ass when we will tell you that this is the real deal. Coming very soon, if you want sooner, bitch at your favorite retailer for it. So yeah, they're getting a little bit snippy with that. But uh, no, that's why they were saying that it seems like the CR4, it's pretty much gone to production, it's done. And they even said right here, CR4 XL is in production and shipping is expected on October 13th. But according to Executor, they are going to be working on the Winchester. But honestly, the way you can just avert all this is just get an older, slim motherboard and you'll be good to go. But I'm also wanting to talk about the CR4 XL because this is probably going to be the last I talk about it. Uh, to be honest, a lot of people have asked me about it. And I'm really more than likely not going to be getting one. Uh, the reason being is that when I do make videos, I make videos I myself want to make. So I felt like making this, however... I'm really just not seeing the need for a CR4 XL or another hard modded system. Uh, I'll be honest, I actually have two RJTAG boards just sitting down here. I've done two RJTAG installs successfully, and I have two RJTAG boards that are unused. And <laughs> I, I really have no use for them at the moment. Maybe if one day a friend of mine wants their system hard modded, I'll install it for them. But aside from that, I mean, I'm, I'm really good on that. Even when it comes to systems, like when it comes to slims, I'm not super interested because... I have this, it's a Corona V1, I'm looking at it right now, it's on top of my monitor, and uh, it's a Corona V1, it's a Demon uh, RGH, yeah it's, yeah, it's an RGH, see, I can't even remember exactly what it is, that's how much I use it, uh, but it is an RGH, it is a dual booting Demon system, and uh, I don't even think I've booted this system up since April, to be honest, uh, either April or May, the last time I booted it up was for a live stream that was on here, uh, but yeah, no, I do not use the thing, and then I have a Flash Trinity Slim in my bedroom, and I don't even think that thing is hooked up. Uh, I haven't used that for a few weeks either, so really the system that I use the most that gets a decent amount of rotation, uh, I have two Jasper systems that I use, and uh, one of them, the main one I have, is in my living room here, and it is my RJTAG Dual NAND uh, Jasper system, so it's it, it's great for what it is. I love the thing, and really never had an issue with it. But yeah, that's that's really all I use. Like, <laughs> that's really all I need when it comes to Xbox 360s, I guess, which is a lot more than needed. But what I'm trying to say is if I get a CR4 and I install it and all that, like, I'm, I'm not going to use the box or anything like that. So uh, the CR4, I mean, it's going to be neat to see what happens out of it. But aside from that, uh, this is probably the last video I'm going to be making about it. I'm more than likely not going to be getting a CR4 box. I'm probably not going to do a CR4 install anything like that, uh, just because I really don't need another hard modded system around here, so I should be good to go, but the main topic of this video, as I said, is uh, this new Winchester motherboard, don't get a new Xbox 360 Slim if you're wanting to mod it up, just get a Corona, better yet, get a Trinity if you want a Slim, or uh, in my opinion, if you want the best system uh, in terms of, you know, modability and reliability, get a Jasper, and I think you'll be good to go. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off, and this video was a lot longer than I expected, but there was a lot of information to cover here, so anyways... Signing off for real this time. Later, everyone.